stop doing your Smith Machine bench presses like this. I don't want you sitting too high up on the bench, and I also don't want you sitting too low. I want you somewhere in that mid-ground that's gonna allow you to bring this bar towards the nipple line or just below. Next, you wanna make sure the height of this bar is already set up in a position that's gonna allow you to maintain that initial setup as you unrack it. So what I mean by that is, if this bar is too high up and I go to lock everything in and set everything up, well, when I go to unrack it, now I have to protract and round, so I'm losing stability right off the bat. I wanna hold a slightly wider than shoulder width grip. I wanna keep that chest up, shoulders down and back. I really wanna think about bending the bar, tucking those elbows in, but I also wanna bring my biceps together in a way. So I wanna think about bending and then pulling in, creating a lot of tension on the pecs the entire time. So I'm gripping that bar, keeping that chest up, shoulders down and back, bending the bar, keeping those elbows in, lowering towards my nipple line. I don't wanna be internally rotating with my elbows and my shoulders, and I also don't wanna be externally rotating, so I wanna make sure my wrists and elbows are stacked the entire time. I'm allowing my shoulders to move as I press. I'm not keeping them retracted the entire time because I really want to emphasize that contraction on the pecs. So I need to allow my shoulders to naturally move through the movement. But I'm not protracting. I'm just letting my shoulders move. Ooh. Controlling every rep. Controlling that eccentric. 